we will build the biggest GPS antenna on a GPS road. And we will use it. Yeah. So definitely. I will explain why we will do this. No reason. This is a GNS antenna of u -blocks. And on their website there is some information. This is the information. And it says that the accuracy will increase if you will use a ground plate for this GNS antenna. So this is a very nice graphic. You see four lines in the graphic. The yellow line is the antenna without the ground plate. Then there is the orange line that is with the ground plate. But that ground plate is as big as his head. So in this video we will use a bigger ground plate to make the biggest GNS antenna on a GPS rod. Ever. We will test this U-Blocks antenna with a huge ground plate. But first we have to test this DNS antenna to see how it works normally without a ground plate. So Ray, can you mount this antenna on your GPS rod? Uh, no. Oh no, I don't think I can mount it. So, what do we need? Tape! Just hold it. Really? <laughs> Really? Oi. It. Okay. My fingers, thanks. I never seen such a great mounted receiver ever. Next thing, I need a tablet holder. And with the tablet holder, of course, the. Tablet! This tablet is not just a tablet, it also has an integrated RTK model. So, what we can do, we can screw this plug on top of it and now we can put it in the um, mount and now we can start to test it for this test we will use Abloss Survey Wizard Abloss Survey Wizard is the nicest and most easy to use land survey app in the world right 200 percent you can see and smart report because they mow the grass as it should like an axe so Ray will connect this GNNS antenna with Abloss Survey Wizard. I will do the timing to check how long it takes for me to get a fix, right? Now I will show you how to connect. First of all, let's go to the connect screen. Press connect. Yes, allow. Then we have to select the internal, internal RTK module. And we still can leave it on server as we use a server base for getting an RTK signal. And that's one, one, two, three. And now we wait. I'm seeing the timer running. Five seconds. Yes, I have an SPS. I have 12 seconds. I have DGPS. 40 seconds. Float RT RTK. 18 seconds! Oh, wow. We are now in the forest. As you can see, lots of leaves and uh, big trees. And I will do the same test again. How fast do I get a fix? Are you ready? I'm ready. And count down. Just count up. 10, Not 9, it's too far. 3, 2, 1. 1 second. Okay. 2 seconds. Nothing happens. 3 seconds. I have 10 seconds. SPS. 11. 17. 18. 18. Yeah, uh, also 18 satellites. 21. Uh, 22 satellites. 24. Maybe it, it's the same as the counter. DGPS. 30 seconds. Float RTK. One minute. Uh, Five and a half minute. It will not give a fix. It, it will not happen. So we have to do something else. I made a fix here and let's see how far I can walk before he will lose the signal. Are you coming with me? <laughs> oh, oh! Signal gone. X marks the spot. Now are we going to use this device 
and we are going to build the biggest GNS receiver there is. With this, this, this. Start the spot. Show me. Let's try. Let's try. Show. Uh, oh. Let's see if we get a faster fix. One and press. Okay. One second. Heavy stuff, right? Heavy stuff. Heavy stuff. Seven seconds. SPS. Eleven. Twelve. Sixteen. Oh wow, it counts really quickly. RTK, RTK, RTK. It was 17 seconds, which is a complete second quicker than just a little antenna. Uh, but we have to go for the second test. <laughs> Walking that way with this GPS antenna. Everything for science. Do we still have a fix? Yes. And it's heavy. Still have a fix. Let's go in the deep forest. I had to stop because uh, I got a float and that means I don't have a fix anymore. Is this GPS antenna better? It is. Yeah. Let me tell you why. Because I'm, uh, as the camera can see, it's... Hanno, uh, also, listen, I understand you're filming that, but the plate is, it is quite big and heavy. It's steel, you know, and no, okay, I don't want to have a headache in the end of the day. So, yeah, it's, it's better. This is the end result. Real steel plate. The end result. We tested two things. First thing was if we could get a quicker fix with a huge GNNS antenna. Yeah. And we can confirm that with the ground plate you get a quicker fix. Yeah. It's not a big difference, but it's a quicker fix. It's a quicker fix. The second thing we tested, we walked from an open view to a closed view in the forest. Yeah. And with the ground plate, we could walk farther with an RTK fix than without. True. So, also, that is confirmed. Yeah. Then the question is, would you go surveying with this huge GNS antenna. Never. Too heavy, too dangerous, too big. But it was fun. It was really fun. If you think it was fun as well, then for sure you will like this video.